Greetings, it's Dr. Marsha McPhee in the Worship Design Studio. I am going to give you just very quick technological FAQs, things that people keep sending me questions about, and so I'm just going to make this video so I can send you the answers in this form. All right, frequently asked questions. The first one is, some of my links don't work. Well, probably that happens because you're an Internet Explorer. When you signed in, you should have gotten a warning if you're using the browser Internet Explorer. Because Internet Explorer hasn't kept up with the latest coding, some of our program, which is the latest coding, doesn't work very well with Internet Explorer. And so we encourage you to use our uh, website only through some other of the browsers, like Firefox, Google Chrome, uh, Safari. These will work just fine. So if you are a, a regular Internet Explorer user, you might want to consider, no, you do want to consider um, downloading for free Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, any one of those to use for the Worship Design Studio. Better yet, just keep using it for everything. Um, those all work really great. So second FAQ, um, how do I add and delete members? So any core member can add members but only the admin can delete members. So I'm signed into an account that I'm on right now where I am a core member but not the admin. So I'm going to go to Member Manager. When I click on that, I'm going to see the list of people on the team. You can see that the admin is there at the top, always at the top, and then there's everybody else. All the yeses are, are they core members? Or are they series members? That would be the no. Um, so all of those are series members. Now, only the admin, if she were to sign in, would have another line right here that would have a delete link for each one of these. So only admins can delete people off of the account. But because I'm a core member, I can add a member. So I would click Add Member. I just have to type in the first, last name, anything with a red asterisk, uh, the email, and then give that person a password. My suggestion is to give everybody the same password. They can go in and change it when they get into their account to something particular to them. But give everybody the same password so that you can remember what you've given them. Now the program is going to automatically send them an email telling them that they've been added, giving them the link to come to the sign-in page, and what their username and password is. The username is always your email. Remember that passwords are case sensitive. So if you're not getting in, it may be that you're putting a a cap on it, or something that was different than what you put in to begin with. All right, now, if I want to change the admin, so let's say that, um, this is another frequently asked question, let's say that, say the pastor bought the subscription, but the pastor is not the one who wants to take care of adding people and deleting people and all that kind of thing. Um, so you can uh, change the admin, by going in, you would have to go in and have, I would have Anne sign in to the account, and then I would click on Profile, Edit User Profile, and there is where I would change the information to mine. So we would be in her account, I would change all of the information to mine, and that would make your church account admin change to whoever's in there. You could go back to Member Manager, you could delete uh, now that you're the, you would sign in as you and you would be the admin, you could delete your, your other one that was still there um, as a core member and you would be the admin. All right, so that's how you change uh, add and delete folks off of the list. Now, another frequently asked question is how do I, why do I, if I am a um, series member, why do I go into our design app and I don't see the the series that I'm supposed to be working on. It's blank. Well, it means that you haven't, the admin or any core member hasn't added you yet to that work on that series. So if you're a series member, it means that you may just be working on one series, which is why we made it so that you sign folks up to particular series. So because I'm a core member in this account, I can see all of the series that we're working on. But if I want to add somebody who's not a core member, they would go and they wouldn't see anything here. So as a core member or as the admin, I would want to go in, click on the series that I want to add them in. I'm clicking on Resurrection Stories. Over here you see on the left hand side, Assign Members. 
you click on Assign Members and you're going to see a drop-down list of everybody on the team that's not a core member. You can see in this we have three core members on the account and they automatically are assigned to every one of those series because they're working on all the series all year long. But a series team member may just be working on one. So again, I would choose somebody and I would add them uh, and click on add and it would add them to that series so that when they go to design app they would see that in their um, on their screen and that's how they get to work on it but you have to add them okay so that was another one now there's another the last one frequently asked question is how do I get rid of series that I accidentally put in here and I don't want anymore well we don't let you delete anything because we were afraid that somebody would delete by mistake and then that would be a problem you don't want to face. So we just have you archive them. So you see here, when you clicked on Design App, you have Create New Series, Create Series from Template, and Archive Series. Archive Series is when you want to get rid of one of these uh, pieces on your screen. So I'm going to click Archive Series. What it does, it gives me an active series and archive series. So let's say I want to archive this resurrection stories. And I don't want it to show up every time I click design app. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to move it below the line. That means that when I go back to design app, it has disappeared. So um, we don't have resurrection stories there. Now, if I did that by mistake, I would just click archive series again click on Resurrection Stories and it's going to move it back up in its original place. So that's how you can move things in and out. Uh, one of the ways that you get duplicate series is if one of your core members, let's say, has gone into the Worship Series link and they accidentally clicked on Use Template. That automatically moves that series into your account. You can click on that puppy as many times as you want to. It'll just keep putting it in your account so you might get some duplicates. Um, so that's how you can get rid of those. All right, those have been the frequently asked questions uh, lately. And so thank you very much for being part of the studio. And I hope this helped some of you who have emailed me. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.